Welcome everyone to the L7C podcast, Buckeye edition. Today, you already know, we're going to be talking about those Ohio State football Buckeyes. And we've actually reached one of the weeks that we have been hyping up um, the past couple of podcasts, week six, which is a big week. So honestly, we're going to talk a little bit about the Buckeyes, talk about the craziness that happened in the weekend, preview the Buckeyes and Go over week six. We got the captain, Byron Mitchell. How you doing today, sir? Doing good. I am ready to talk about this massive weekend that happened and this massive weekend that's coming up. Hey, let's let's get right into it, man. Uh, Buckeyes were on this past uh, Saturday as we were recording against Rutgers. We were on the road. Uh, CJ Stroud was back, and we won 52 to 13. So, Byron, you already know the drill. Tell us what you liked from the game, what you were seeing, things you didn't like, and we'll go from there, man. Um, so the thing I like is how CJ Stroud played coming back from his uh being a week off due to a shoulder injury. He looked really well. Um, he's 17 for 23 for 330 yards, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. Um, mm. I didn't see any throws, overthrown throws, I didn't see any high throws. Um, he looked really good. So I, I guess it was his shoulder that's been bothering him this whole season. Um, but that week of rest really paid off well for him. He had a really, a really good game, looked really good. All right, man, I, I got a question for you. Yes. Um, so you just said CJ Stroud sets. Can you say them again, please? 17 for 23. Mm-hmm. 330 yards. Mm-hmm. Five touchdowns. Okay. Zero interceptions. Okay. Okay. I was just wondering that. I mean, everyone was, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, people were ready to bench him, kick him out of Columbus. And if I do recall, there was a podcast that tried to tell y'all to relax. He's 19. He's a true freshman. True freshmen don't start at Ohio State. Like, I'm kind of confused now, man, because like we said, give it some time and he got a week's rest and look what happened. Came out slinging that thing. Again, man, you got to get hit. L7C gives you the real. Gives you the real. Uh, is there anything you didn't like in this game? Honestly, I can't really think of anything that I didn't like. Our offense was clicking. Um, Chris Olave had five receptions, 119 yards, and two touchdowns. Garrett Wilson, three for 71 and a touchdown. So our offense was clicking. Um, our defense looked really well again. Um, so I can't think of anything that I didn't like about the game. Okay. okay. Our defense had five, not five, three interceptions. Yeah, they had um, And Rutgers was a good team. I mean, this was the team who took Michigan down to the wire. And, I mean, we just came out. And I think this was our best game of the year. Uh, Tavion Henderson had another. He had a touchdown. Chris Olave, you did mention he had the uh, one 19 and two TDs. He also, he, he passed Antonio Holmes on the wide receiver record list, and he's tied with Chris Carter right now, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that is really cool. So he's climbing up those um, charts. But, yeah, it was a good – I think it was our best overall game of the year, to be honest. I agree. And a lot of, like, people on Twitter and, like, the news outlet said, this looked like the Ohio State of old. So we looked great across yeah. the board. We'll see how long that goes. That puts OSU with 401, 2-0 in the conference. Rutgers, 3-2, and 2, 0-2 in the conference. But, Byron, while we were playing, a lot of things went down in college football. <laughs> yes, they did. What, what happened, man, on Saturday? There was a lot of upsets that me and you did not have or see coming that has changed things for us. Well, they, like you said, there were a lot of upsets. Um, Georgia lost, not Georgia. Georgia won Oregon 37 lost. to 0 against the number 8 team in the country, which is wow. Right. So Arkansas wasn't supposed to get upset like that. Mm-hmm. Oregon lost to, uh, was it USC? Uh, no, Oregon lost to Stanford in overtime. Stanford, yes. Stanford in overtime. Byron, how did you feel about that, though? Because I know you're a Saints fan and. That pass interference is a reason I, I mean, Stanford got the tie. If they don't call it, the game's over. And I know pass interferences are very touchy with the Saints fan. If it's pass interference, you got to call it, no matter, okay. no matter what. who it is. 
Okay. Okay. Like if it was the Saints, I got a pass interference call. I would have one of them to call it too. Okay. You just got to call it right down the middle, no matter who it is. Uh, who else got upset? Florida lost to Kentucky. Florida lost to Kentucky. The number ten. That was not. That was not good. The big one. Notre Dame lost to Cincinnati. Yep. Yep. Biggest game of the week. Well, not upset wise, but Clemson fell out of the rankings. Even though they won. That's yeah. They're out of the top twenty-five, man. First time in a in a long time. And like we said last week, Buckeye fans appreciate these twenty years we've had, man. Appreciate them. Yeah. Because they won't last long. Uh, just look at Clemson. Like it took them so long to get here, um, and now they don't do some recruiting. And there you go. But let me also check. Let me see the week five because I think you're already. Iowa destroyed Maryland. I was not. I did not see that coming. It was it like fifty-one at fourteen? Mm-hmm. Friday night game. Oklahoma had another nail biter. Um, Michigan finally won at Wisconsin, first time since 2001. Mississippi State upset number 15, Texas A&M. Remember, that's was, the one I was. That's the other one I was thinking of. Everyone was so high on them. Remember, they uh, now they're not even ranked, which we'll talk about week six as we were hyping it up. But yeah, those are the ones. So we go to week six. We've been talking about this week for weeks now. This is the first of the big weeks of October uh, this weekend, and. Now, if there's some new things changing. So one of the big games we previewed weeks ago was Alabama. It was going to be number one Alabama versus like number six, seven, Texas A&M. Now it's number one Alabama versus unranked Texas A&M. Now, Byron, I feel like Texas A&M stands no chance and they are going to get slaughtered. I feel like they're going to get slaughtered as well, but you just never know with Texas A&M. Like that one year where Alabama was ranked number one, and then it was led by Johnny Manziel at Texas A&M. The mm-hmm. freshman beat Alabama, so you just never know what this Texas A&M squad. Yeah, you're you're right. You're right, man. Like it's it is um it's interesting because with Johnny Manziel, obviously they had the Heisman Trophy. He won the Heisman Trophy that year, and I honestly think he won because of that game. Oh, for but sure. What can we? Uh, I don't know. I, I just feel like now, because also remember last week, Alabama played number 12, Old Mitt, and uh, Lane Kiffin said, Get your popcorn ready. And they got smoked. They did get smoked. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting Alabama to come out firing all cylinders and smoke Texas AM. Another big route for Alabama um, as of today. Alabama's projected to win by 85%. So, I, I, yeah, I, I don't see them losing this game. Okay, okay. Uh, the next one, now is a number two Georgia at number 18, Arbor. I don't know how Arbor stays ranked. I really don't. But <laughs> they love Bo Nix. The people love Bo Nix. But Georgia's defense is the best defense in the country. It's not even close right now. Yeah, the way they handle Clemson that first game. It, they let people know that we're here this year. Mm-hmm. And they won that game only 10-7, to 7, which is crazy to think about. But Arbor, I mean, I saw the Bo Nix magic play. I, I just feel like Georgia's defense is way too much. I don't even think their offense is that spectacular. That just defense is just so stifling that they'll give their offense short field position. They score and that's it. Yeah. So I, I think feel- this will be a close game. Okay. okay. Because if you look, you know, Georgia's averaging 41 points a game and Auburn's averaging 40 points a game. Okay. So I don't think it'll be like a blowout that like Georgia's like used to like the last couple of games. I think it'll be maybe a touchdown win for Georgia. Okay. 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 Uh, then we also have. Oklahoma, Texas, Red River rivalry. Number six, Oklahoma, number 21, Texas. Uh, they're going at Texas. Oklahoma, man, they just know. I don't know how they're winning these close games every week, but they are winning close games every freaking week. Does Texas get a big university win 
and beat Oklahoma? Or does Oklahoma survive again? Or do they blow them out? I don't think it's going to be a blowout because I think they're uh, Oklahoma has only blown out one team this year. I think that was the second game of the season. Yeah, it was after they almost lost it to Lane. Yeah, other ones have been super close, like within five to ten points. Um, so I don't think this will be a blowout. I kind of want to pick Texas for the upset. Because mm-hmm. Oklahoma has just not been dominant this year. And I right now you, they're I can give you only, Oklahoma scores right now. First game, they won 40-35 to Tulane. Mm-hmm. Second game, they won 76-0. to zero. Next game, they won 23-16 against Nebraska. West Virginia, they won 16-13, KSU 37-31. So just like you said, you take that second game out, they have been surviving. Mm-hmm. So, and it's at Texas, so if that helps your... I, um, right now, Oklahoma's only a three-and-a-half point favorite. Mm-hmm. And Texas has been outscoring opponents a lot. 43 to 43 average points per game to 24. I think Texas might get this one. Okay. Okay. This isn't a big game. We'll go back to it, but this is us. Uh, we played Maryland at 12. Um, Byron, if we keep play, if we play like we did last week, we shouldn't have an issue with Maryland. Maryland can score. They got baby two over there. They do have um, baby two up. They're well, I know they're not. I know they're not four zero because they just got that hasn't been updated because they just got smoked last week. Mm-hmm. So it'll also be a good. I, I don't like saying this, but it'll be a good gauging point to see where we're at compared to, I guess, in Iowa since Iowa just scored fifty on them, and I think I think our offense is a little bit. I think our offense is more explosive than Iowa. Iowa's just maybe a better overall team right now, but I'm interested to see how we do. I think we. Should be okay, but if they're but we know if teams can throw, we have issues. If teams can run, we have issues. That, that is, yeah, yeah. If teams get things off, we have issues. Yes, um, <laughs> I think, uh, like you said, I think this will be a good game to gauge our defense and to see if they've truly progressed like they had these last two games against a, a really good Maryland offense. Um, again, I think Ohio State will win. Mm-hmm. But if our defense can hold strong, that's the key. If our defense can hold strong. Okay. okay. We also have um, number – man, Arkansas is strange. They were 16, beat, old, beat uh, Texas and went to eight, got smacked by Georgia, went back down to 13. And they're playing <laughs> number 17, Old Miss. So a right game. Uh, Byron, I mean, who do you have in this one? I'm going to go Old Miss. Why not? Okay. okay. And then, is it finally? Yep, I think we finally reached. And then the big one, which they changed the time for this game, too. This was supposed to be a big noon kickoff, but now they made it 4 o'clock. We have number three, Iowa, number four, Penn State. This Huge. is the game, game of the week. Game of the week. All, game of the week. This is a game that all Ohio State slash Big Ten fans need to watch i think all college football needs to watch the game outside i mean we really need to watch the game but i think all college football if you have a team that potentially could get in the playoffs you need to watch this this is three versus four yes so like cincinnati oklahoma they win and cincinnati said we're Us. here mm-hmm. michigan because they're i think they're eight they're, yeah eight and yeah we'll go over the rankings uh currently michigan's at nine but we'll go over those nine. after we creep yeah so Byron, we've been talking about this. This is, I've even asked some people on like walking around, like, hey, you like Ohio State? Yeah. Like, would you rather play an undefeated Iowa in the Big Ten Championship or an undefeated Penn State on Halloween? Basically, they're like, why can't we do both? Well, you haven't been paying attention. We, they play each other this Saturday. They're like, holy jeez. Right. Now, if we could get both, that'd be great. But unfortunately, we cannot. Right, right now, I, I don't know, man. Do you who do you have someone you're taking? This is at Iowa, at Iowa. So we got the hospital wave. Mm-hmm. Great college tradition. Penn State's defense is the real deal. Penn State's defense is the real deal. I was not Iowa. Iowa is a complete team. Yeah, oh, man. Five and zero versus five and zero. 
two and zero both in the conference. I think. I think Iowa might get it. If Iowa gets it, I think they should be the number two team in the country after the weekend. I agree. But I don't know if they'll make Georgia three. And I don't think Penn State should go down that low if they. I think if Penn State loses, I think they should drop to six or seven. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, let me and vice versa, if Iowa loses, I think they should drop to six or seven as well. Because after Penn State, I mean, after Iowa, they have Illinois, then at Ohio State. So it's like, this is huge, man. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know who's going to win this game. Is Clifford going to show out and put on a performance, or is Iowa's complete team going to take them out? I don't know. And our game is done. Our game is at 12, so we're done right before this game. So as soon as the Buckeyes are done, if you're a Buckeye fan, you better be watching this game because this has, again, huge implications on us. Right, because we're – I feel like we're going to face both. Well, definitely we will. Penn State. Mm-hmm. And I also feel like we'll face, if we make it, we, if we went out, we I face, think we'll yep. face Iowa in the Big Ten Championship. Mm-hmm. It's the biggest game of the, of the this, might, this is probably the, I mean, now this is the biggest game of the year. It's two Big Ten teams. So yep. this, two this top is, five ranked teams. Have we had a, two top five ranked teams play this year? In the Was Big Ten? Clemson? Clemson Not the Big Ten overall. Uh, Clemson, Clemson and Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, they're okay, like three yeah, and Clemson five. And, and then we see that Clemson's a joke this year. So <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I I want to go. I, uh, I want to go Iowa too because they're at home. I I That's think why I, t- I want to go Iowa as well. I think- and I'm just looking at the just the stats between Clifford and the Iowa quarterback. Mm-hmm. Um Clifford has thrown for thirteen hundred. Over 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns, and three interceptions. Mm-hmm. And the Iowa quarterback has 943 yards, seven touchdowns, and one interception. Wow. Okay. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going Iowa 24-21 late field goal to win. That, yeah. Yeah. They are one-and-a-half point favorites. So. But let's – uh. You brought it up. Let's go to this ranking. So the rankings have changed now. Um, we got Alabama still at one, Georgia at two, um, Iowa now at three. Uh, we have Penn State at four. These are the AP top 25. We have Cincinnati crashing at five, mm-hmm. Oklahoma at six. OSU jumped up four spots to seven. These are after the upset. Oregon dropped five spots to uh, eight, so they're right below us, which is interesting because they beat us, but they're saying that Michigan's nine now. BYU is 10. And then outside of that, you have Big Ten team-wise, you have Michigan State at 11. I think Michigan State's the last. So Big Ten team, we have Iowa three, Penn State four, OSU seven, Michigan nine. Michigan State, 11. And I think Wisconsin dropped out. And Wisconsin dropped out. So, Byron, man, we're, we got some big – This is it's been a while since we have all these Big Ten teams in the top 11. Um, yeah, I think it was last time that we had this many teams in, like, the top 15. I want to say it was two or three years ago mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when it was, like, us, Penn State, Michigan State, and Wisconsin. In the top, yeah, it's been it's been a long, long time. But this is this is a good time to be a Big Ten. We're gonna see, we're gonna see, because we're gonna be knocking a lot. We're gonna be knocking each other off because we all play each other. Mm-hmm. And just think about we were talking about our divisions, like on the first podcast, the Big Ten East, Penn State, Michigan, Ohio State, Michigan State are all in the Big Ten East. Mm-hmm. All ranked in the top eleven. Only one outside is uh, Iowa in the West, so I don't, I, I don't know. This is going to be – this week's going to show me some things, man. It's, it really, really is. This is the first big week, and then we get – and then we'll have a little couple weeks, and then we have that 30th weekend where we got some things. But, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, Iowa, Penn State, 4 o'clock. Fox. Fox. 
that atmosphere. I don't. That atmosphere is going to be crazy. I don't understand why game day is going. To, I understand maybe contracts, but that's so stupid that game day is going to Oklahoma, Texas, when number three and number four are playing each other. Because Oklahoma and uh, Texas are a bigger rivalry. I guess, but it's three versus four. Oklahoma, Texas I, will do nothing to the playoffs unless Oklahoma loses. Uh, yeah, because right now they're six. Mm-hmm. So they're out, outside looking in. So, we'll see. Byron, anything else, man, before we sign off? I mean, like you said, Penn State, Iowa is the biggest game of this weekend. I know Michigan has a night game at, on ABC against, I don't even remember who they play, Nebraska. Nebraska. So I think Michigan's probably going to win that game. Um, I think we need Penn State to win since we play them first. I mean, I think Iowa will be fine. Well, let me yeah. actually check Iowa's because I think they also play Michigan this year. No, they do not play Michigan. Yeah, once the Penn State's their biggest, I mean, their last ranked opponent for the rest of the year as of right now because they're in the West. Yeah. So also, I, the only thing I do want to say is that we're in week six and everyone's already talking about Alabama, Georgia, the national championship is inevitable. So, I mean, we, I mean, we've already said if they both make it to the SEC championship game undefeated, they're both getting in. But oh, for sure. I wouldn't say inevitable yet. I would say, there, I mean, there's some teams. Ohio, I mean, not being Ohio State's getting their stuff together. Like the Big Ten teams are here. Don't sleep on us. Right. Because I think that if anyone who doesn't win the championship, if it's not Georgia or Alabama, it will be one of the Big Ten teams. I'm trying to think of, I'm looking at Alabama's schedule. I mean, they have, looks like a pretty easy schedule until they play Auburn, mm-hmm. if Auburn stays ranked. They'll find a way to keep Auburn ranked just for that game. Yeah. So they have a and this weekend, the Mississippi State, Tennessee, LSU, I think New Mexico State, mm-hmm. and then Arkansas. Well, well, Arkansas is ranked now, but we don't know if they'll stay ranked by the time they face Alabama. Mm-hmm. And then Auburn. So, that I mean, you never know. Any given Saturday, yeah, that's chaos true. can happen, like last Saturday. Yeah. No one expect those top ten teams to lose like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and georgia has auburn this weekend then university of kentucky which is 16 florida which is still ranked and then after that they have missouri tennessee chattanooga state i think and then georgia tech so i think the biggest games for georgia are auburn and florida yeah until the sec championship game yeah I mean, they could they could do it. We'll have to wait and see. But with that being said, thank you everyone for listening to the LCMC podcast. College football is really heating up right now. This is a big week. Um, so you'll hear us next week talking about Iowa Penn State a lot, the new rankings. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to wait and see. And just like I said, don't crown Alabama, Georgia just yet. There's still a lot of season to be played. Um, go Bucks, keep improving. Go Bucks, let's um, we really gotta be ready before it is time for that game October 30th. Hopefully, at night, they haven't announced time yet, but it, it has to be a night. If Penn State wins, even if Penn State loses, it has to be a night, yeah, because it's a top 10 game, yeah, yeah I, I agree, but we'll see. But with that being said, thank you all for listening to L7C podcast. You guys take care. Thank you for listening to this episode of the L7C Podcast. Be sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media platforms, and we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care.